The following Evolution Archer Travel training session is brought to you by America's favorite vacation company. All right. <laughs> We're Good back. afternoon, everybody. We're back. We're, we're, we're back. Uh, welcome and happy Thursday. It is uh, March 12th, a little bit after 3 p.m. It's pouring in Los Angeles, Susan. You know, everybody says, oh, beautiful, sunny California. And it's pouring outside. The wind is blowing. It's just... And, and, and we're supposed to have this for the next five days. days. And last week we had 83 degree weather. Yep. It's, it's crazy. It's if crazy. If you don't like the weather today, um, come back tomorrow. And, but you know what is it's funny, though? It does match uh, what we're covering today in geography. This Because it's it's gray, it's ugly, it's it's really bad. But today we're going to cover one of the... The most beautiful places in Europe where it's green all the time. So guess where we're going. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we no, go there... No, we have to say hi to people. Yeah, we got to say hi to people. So let, let's come back. Come back, let's come back. Okay, wait. Let's say hi to people, and then, but first, let's do this. Check. We've got a really... Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can they see this, Amanda? Can they see what? Uh, the, the, the award. Oh, yeah, they can see the award. Okay. Okay. Check this out. We got this today at the meeting. Um, I have it upside down. <laughs> of course I do. This is from Apple uh, Leisure Group. We got a platinum Apple for 2020 to Archer Travel Service from the Evolution Agents because you guys booked over a million dollars in travel bookings last year. Yay! So we want to thank you so much for this. It's and we want to really put it nice up on our wall. And, thank and I, you and very I, much. I want, to, I want to really thank you guys for you know your hard work that you work in VAX and you work you know in uh, United Airlines Vacations, Ameri Fun Jet, you work there and, and uh, Travel Impressions. So really a you know, big shout out to you guys. Now, yep. let's see who's in the house. Who's visiting us today? All right, who is, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Gwanda, uh, Gwendolyn Porsche, uh, Monica Wright Carter, Denise Smith, uh, Josephine, uh, Joe Schofield. Hey, Joe, I hope you're feeling better, buddy. Um, and Andrea Livermore, she's always there. Levise Howard, Nina Mitchell, Aloha, Nina, uh, Nancy Morillo, uh, Sean Rutledge, uh, who else? Who else? Who else we got? Uh, two more. We'll do two more. Marion Harris Thompson and Aretha Wilkerson. All right. Well, thanks you guys. And and Amanda, what what do we have on uh, YouTube? Uh, on YouTube today, I want to say hi to Cheryl Shires. Cheryl Shires and Cheryl. Pamela Johnson. All right, Pamela. And there's some more in there too. They just haven't commented in the chat. Okay, they haven't commented in the chat yet. You guys, we really, really, really want to thank you for always showing up on uh, on you know for the live taping. As you know, tell your other agents we leave these trainings in here for you. You know, if you can't make it. So now. And that's really important. So if you don't have the time, and we understand that a lot of you have this, is not your full-time job, be sure you have the time to take a look at these because it's really important to help you sell. These are great tools. And the information that we're providing to you, you know, take it, work with it, and make these suggestions to your customers because there's a big world out there. We want to make sure that we open some doors for you to take a look to... Um, you know, get some ideas and maybe throw this out and see if, you know, something your customer might really like. Now, we thought of something fun for today. And like we said, we, we even mentioned the country that we're going to. But next week is St. Patrick's Day, and we thought we'd do a little Ireland preview, right? Right. So we're going to touch on the country and of let, Ireland. Let's, all right, so let's go to the map. Let's go to the map first. This is the map of Europe. So you get an idea. You can see um, there's Russia, Poland, Germany. Then we start going um, to the east, and then we're looking at the Netherlands, United Kingdom, and there's that beautiful little country called Ireland. Now, let's say this. All right, let, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, here's the United. Know, this is a really good, um, it's a really good map. You've got England, Wales, Scotland, and then the Republic of Ireland. This is a really good map. So. Get an idea where this is at. That's what G for Geography is. So when you talk about this destination, you're in the right part of the world, okay? So now, this is a really good let's one. make a, a notation of this. Okay, these are considered the British Isles. Right. These are islands. As you can see, the Republic of Ireland is off to the side. It's its own separate island. Now, due to Brexit, we don't know what's going to be happening with, like, Scotland. 
or or you know because they, they this, just so you know this has to do with their currency yeah and their currency and and that they're going out, of the, out of the, the Euro, Euro. Uh, right. out of the European Union so um, but monitor this and 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 know that, and you know what you guys booked this I, I don't know why out of all the countries in Europe you, you I got a lot of calls for you guys to go to Ireland and it's and it's really kind of cool uh, let's go to the next slide all right wonderful map this is Ireland, the main airport that you would fly into would to be to Dublin. And um, if you're going to be doing something in this destination, you've got a couple of your really good tour companies that can help you with this. So um, it's a wonderful destination to explore on your own, either by doing an FIT. Or we're going to talk about FIT again. That's an independent tour, and you have Brendan Tours that can do something like this for you. It would be like renting a car and they give you, they map out um, the area you're going to drive to. But the fun part of this is one thing, don't forget they drive on the opposite side okay. of the street. So and, and let's make a point about this. Be careful okay. with that. Europe, it, when you purchase a, rent a car, it's not like the United States. In the United States, all the airports have automatic transmission. In Europe, they don't. And it's on request. Right, you make sure when you do the car rental, that you make the request, unless your person knows how to drive a stick shift, ask and, them and, and, and on the other side of the yeah, on the opposite side of the road. road. Right. So if they're not really familiar with the stick shift, think about those two items: right. wrong side of the road and shifting. Right. So that could be kind of challenging. That could be kind of challenging, and it's always on request. That doesn't mean that it's guaranteed right. that that they're going to get. They're going to the, get that. You know, so they're going to get an automatic. So right. just let your customer know that and, that's possible. And you had mentioned uh, FIT, which stands for Free Independent Tourist. Or free independent traveler right there's two ways to go around uh touring around the world you can go in, in like a group guided tour okay right, which, which is would like, be like globus that right, you would go Trafalgar. on a, right trafalgar you've already got a pre-planned tour you get on the bus they take care of all your and it's all bus travel right, right it's all bus travel so if you're um not really wanting to be too adventurous and do an fit this would be the best way for you to sell it to your customer give them a nice guided tour a lot of these are paced according to yeah, right. to age, so some of these will be fast paced. So when you're selling this, take a look to see what kind of pace this tour does, because some of these could be pretty fast. You know, it's packing, unpacking. You're up at yeah. seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So yeah. think about the needs of your customer, maybe the age and what kind of activities they usually do. But if you're not interested in driving, this is a great way to see this country. It's a beautiful, beautiful destination. But Driving, if you decide to do the FIT, Brendan Tours will map out a, um, an actual route for you. And instead of staying in hotels, you get to stay in bed and breakfast and you get to stay in really cool cottages, okay? And that's where you get really some of the immerse yourself into this country. This is really what and, they're about. And just so you guys know, I think I, um, Amanda, you know, help me out here. I think Lisa comes next week of Trafalgar, right? Okay, to my understanding, Lisa is coming, I forget, uh, Jill Langley gave me the day, she's coming in the, in the month of March to highlight Brendan Vacations. Right. So we're, you're going to be you seeing can do a, webinar. a webinar on Brendan Vacations and how Trafalgar does that. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this country, you don't really want to go here in January and February. <laughs> It's, this is fairly not this is not a warm destination country even it's during not, summer yeah it's a very mild climate but during winter you know they call this the emerald isle and for good reason it is covered with green and the green comes from lots of rain right. so lots of rain and, um, cold. and cold and cold so as long as your people know that this is not going to be, you know, having to go swimming and bring your bathing suit, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not gonna happen. So they don't have the bartender in the pool they don't. in Dublin. But, okay. you know, in that's some of the fun part of coming here is they're famous for their pubs. These yep. people are really happy, not because they're drinking Guinness all the time or, or Jameson. It's a very happy country. These people are love their tourists. So, yeah. um, and here's here's like interesting, you know, like Waterford, right? You see there yeah. on this, right? Please guess what that's famous for? Waterford Crystal. There's Waterford Crystal. And you can actually go tour, to. Right. There's yeah, a there's tour a tour of the factory. There, right, and you can go in. Yeah. This is kind of crazy, but they do have pieces there that aren't perfect, that they can't really sell to manufacturers. So, 
You can go in there and you get really some beautiful pieces. I have one. It's got a little bubble in it. Unless I show it to you, I have no idea that bubble's in there. There you go. Also, you can go to the Guinness, um, to the brewery oh, yeah, there. We're, we're gonna get, and we're the history of that brewery is really pretty entertaining. And that's a really gorgeous tour. Yeah, the Guinness, yeah, Guinness, Guinness Down and Out Brewery, yeah. So, and, and there's other ones, too. Oh, yeah, there's lots there's of There's tons. There's tons. Um, let's go to the next map. Take a look. Here we go. Here we go. This is really good. This is kind of a good idea if you were going to do a tour. You would start in Dublin and you could either go north um, to up to the northern part or if you come back around, you can um, to the coast here. I can't. We need a pointer. But anyways, this is, you know, the main part. Look, and this is not too hard to get around it. It's not. It yeah. seems like far distance. But remember driving here or touring here, it's not like here in the United States where you're going to be backed up for hours on the highway. So mm -hmm. this is a really good map showing some of the different um, cities that you would be stopping in. Again, this country is very diversified. It's got a lot of history. Um, I've got a couple really cute little things. Did you know that there's no wild snakes in Ireland? I No, they were all taken out by... St. Patrick. St. Patrick. That's right. So not that's to worry about those snakes that's why we, if you're we, worried. Yeah, we, that's why we... Um, also, if you um, want to check out, um, we're going to take a look at Cool Island. For also, the Titanic was built in Belfast. That's, that's right. And that's in Northern that's Ireland. Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's a little bit different countryside there. So it's not quite as popular. As you all know, it does have some unrest there. So Gotta mostly you would stay in the mm -hmm. southern part of Ireland before you start venturing to the north. And Ireland is a nation of storytellers. And when you go there and if you go to some of the pubs, the people will be sitting there telling the most historical things about their country. They're very proud of who they are, but they're a fun-loving people and they really like to have tourists. So think about this destination. Um, it's pretty easy to get to. From the East Coast, there's non-stop service right yeah. into Dublin. Right. And if you want to do a combination of Dublin and the UK, yep. you could fly into London and then spend maybe a few days there, do the country, and then come over to, to Ireland and do maybe four or five days here. So yeah. good destination. It's a fun place to travel. Okay. Uh, we have this really, really good video. Beautiful uh, video. A, a beautiful video of, of Dublin that we really want you to see. And again, you can use this as a tool. Here we go. Here we go. Dublin stands resolutely on Ireland's east coast, at the mouth of the River Liffey. Although it is home to more than a third of the population, Ireland's dynamic capital city retains a lyrical village magic and a playfulness few other cities can match. Despite a long and sometimes tragic history of invasion and resistance, this thriving business capital has poetry, music and literature percolating through its cobblestones. Dublin's ancient streets are compact enough to explore on foot or by bicycle. The River Liffey separates the city into two neat halves. It is crisscrossed with historic bridges, many of which are tributes to Dublin's finest moments and heroes. Dubliner Oscar Wilde once said, life is too important to be taken seriously. While Dublin proudly honours its past, it is equally passionate about enjoying each and every new day. Nowhere is life celebrated more than in the city's nearly 700 pubs. Nothing matters more to Dubliners than having a good time, or, as the locals call it, the crack. Pubs and music are at the very heart of Dublin's traditions and society. Just south of the river is the Temple Bar area, where locals and tourists have been meeting for generations. This is the place to find art galleries and colourful shops and immerse yourself in the spirited and often improvised traditional folk music. Irish emigrants have taken their music all around the world, but there is nothing like hearing it played live. Entertainment is also important a little further south on Grafton Street, 
a lively shopping precinct known for its buskers and proud to be a launch pad for many international musical acts. At the other end of the spectrum, and a little further to the east, is the architecturally spectacular Aviva Stadium. Time your visit to catch an international superstar here. Any local will tell you that music and a pint glass go hand in hand. The history of Guinness, one of Ireland's most famous institutions, is on display at the Guinness Storehouse. Also known as the Black Stuff, Black Custard and Irish Champagne, this world-famous tipple is said to have been born in the 18th century when water from the Liffey became too polluted to safely drink. The brewing process removed the germs and also provided sorely needed nutrition. Today, the river is cleaner, but Dubliner's thirst for Guinness has remained undiminished. The picturesque Grand Canal was built around this time, connecting Dublin to the west of Ireland, allowing Guinness to be exported, marking the beginning of one of Dublin's great success stories. Visit the Old Jemison Distillery and discover the magic of how three simple ingredients are transformed into a smooth whiskey that is enjoyed all over the world. But of all the gifts Dublin has given to the world, perhaps the most intoxicating are its stories. Originally built for the sons of the Irish gentry, the stone buildings of Trinity College are home to some of the oldest remaining manuscripts in the world, including the 1,000-year-old Book of Kells. This ancient manuscript is only a small part of Dublin's literary history. This city is famous for its authors, playwrights and poets, and tributes are dotted all over the city. Visit the flamboyant statue of Oscar Wilde, decorated with precious stones that reflect his love of beauty. Or pay your respects to James Joyce, one of Dublin's literary giants. There are more tributes to the past, just a stroll away in St. Stephen's Green, which holds a special place in the heart of Dubliners. While today it is an oasis of calm in the centre of the city, the park has witnessed many turbulent episodes of Irish history. During the 1916 Easter Rising, a pivotal battle took place here, which reignited the long and passionate fight for Irish independence from English rule. The ghosts of Ireland's battle for independence also feel very real at the Kilmainham Jail, in which many of the rebellion leaders were brutally executed. Right at the centre of Dublin's historic heart is Dublin Castle. Originally built on a Viking site, it has been a prison, a fortress and a treasury. From within these stone walls, the English administered Irish rule for more than 700 years. Famously, the Irish crown jewels were stolen from the castle in 1907 and their whereabouts remain a mystery to this day. The National Museum of Ireland Archaeology on Kildare Street showcases other early treasures which illuminate Dublin's history throughout the ages. A little further from the centre of town is Phoenix Park, one of the largest walled parks in Europe. Visit the Wellington Monument, a tribute to the first Duke of Wellington a Dubliner known as the Iron Duke, who defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo. Of all Dublin's heroes, perhaps none are as important as St. Patrick, 
who is credited with many miracles, including converting Ireland to Christianity. The site of St. Patrick's Cathedral is said to be where he first baptized the pagan chieftains and altered Irish history. Nearby Christchurch Cathedral was founded almost 1,000 years ago and has borne witness to the lives of warriors, kings and saints. Dubliner Jonathan Swift once said, May you live all the days of your life. There is no better way to define Dublin. Its passion for life is contagious, captivating and sure to stay with you the rest of your days. countryside yeah that was it's that, really beautiful really nice it really is and and um uh, it, it's just a great experience you know again use this as a marketing tool we, we get these from youtube that you can send these to your clients and and you can say you know have you ever looked at dublin and maybe you know uh, making that your headquarters and go out and visit the other parts the, of the, country. The, the rest of the countryside but you know use these tools for you to use for your for your customers to, to grab them to bring them in yeah to give them some interest because once you get a hold of them and you start talking about a destination and be sure you have some pricing and, and things maybe available and also what's important about this destination family family friendly very family friendly you can see from the yeah from the video lots of multi-generational family yeah. friendly this is a good place to go so and it's safe it's clean it's a lot of fun a lot of things to do okay Wonderful. we have a question we have a question uh, question from Joan she's asking do you know if Brendan has any packages for Navy Notre Dame college football game no no Brendan is a is a is a tour, uh, a tour operator, operator. Right. he's a tour operator they don't really do anything in the United States for if you want Navy Notre Dame tickets okay for that and uh, sports packaging, you can visit uh, road, trips, road trips, sports in Agent Universe. They have packages also. You can purchase the tickets on through Golden Tickets. Uh, and what was the other one that you mentioned? The other uh, um, sports? There's one other. It's called Sports Empire. And they're out of the and West Coast. And they're out of the West Coast. And too, they do they those have, kind of packages yeah, yeah. where they Kentucky can do Kentucky Derby. They have the air and hotel right. and all that. Now, you know. You guys, um, especially for you uh, Vegas agents and Los Angeles agents, because we have new stadiums that are going to be opening this year, but I hope. Yep, well, hopefully. Well, I mean, hopefully. So, you know, you're going to have to look into that. And I've already spoken to the Vegas agents about using Southwest Airlines vacations yep. and buying your tickets at Golden Tickets and do the air in the hotel with, uh, with Southwest. So call me maybe we'll have it uh, you've got a whole package yeah, together. And maybe, maybe we'll do a training we'll be doing a training on we, that we'll do a training because on that. you know the seasons are coming up with different events and you can take advantage of it put together a whole package and this way you can offer your customers something so, special um we, we have one question here uh, any other oh, we have another oh. question uh, was that uh, the question was from Shara and it was was that Sports Empire? Yes. Sports Empire. That's the name of the company. Sports Road Trip Empire. Sports in Agent Universe. Golden Tickets. Golden tickets just for tickets. You know, in Golden Tickets, you can find that information in your travel cafe. You should already be enrolled in Golden Tickets. Now, we want you to have a great, you know, St. Patrick's Day is next Tuesday. So have fun. Be safe. Be safe. But have fun. And, yeah, but have fun. And here's our last question: What does Aaron Go Bra mean? Does anybody know what that means? Because everybody says that on, on uh, St. Patrick's Day. Who can answer that first? Who can say this? I'm a, let us know. Somebody have an answer. Say it again. What is I'll this? give you up to five more seconds. Gling, gling, gling. <laughs> what does Aaron go bra mean? Not, not Aaron go bra, braless. Aaron go bra. Aaron go bra. And everybody, I'm on the internet. Did it go, go, go. Okay. okay, we'll see. Time is up. Time is up. No, they're, they're not fair. Oh, because they're delayed. I'll let you know when they... Do. Okay. Well, okay, with... You want it, should okay. they email um, the answer? Is it just, coming, out? Is it just coming? coming now? Um, okay, so that was when you did your five seconds right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Gling, yeah, gling. Okay, go ask, okay, ask it again. Okay, okay I got to ask it again. Okay. You don't have to ask it again. I said that's when it just... Oh. oh, okay. All right. They had time to think about it. All right. So what, do, what does Aaron Gobrab mean? 
Not Aaron Gobra. Aaron Gobra. We have that first uh, answer, and, and let's get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. Cr- I think that's, that's correct. Better than the that's right answer. answer. I think that Who is better. Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> Let's get drunk. Joe Schofield, I bet. No, I miss Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. Okay. okay. Do we have any other answers? No, nah, just some LOLs. So. Okay. <laughs> let's get drunk. It does not mean let's get drunk. It means literally Ireland oh, forever. We have one more. To the end of time. Till the end of time. No. That's nice no. too. No. It actually means it's an Irish phrase meaning. Ireland forever. It is. It's an old Celtic language that they use. So that's what it means. Uh, Aaron is like the short word for Ireland. Ireland. Right. That's what they used to call it, and it means uh, oh. Ireland forever. Yes. Yeah. Someone on YouTube said allegiance to Ireland. Well, okay, yeah, I guess that's the, the, the good, same thing. Fine. So, all right, Miss Susie, Great. thank you so much. Okay, um, everybody, um, enjoy your week. Yeah. And you know, we're here to help you to increase your sales and. Again, we want to say thank you so much for this award. Thank you. And this is everybody's, this is a team effort. And we're very proud of you as agents. You're doing your job really well. And this certainly speaks volumes for the kind of business that we're providing and you're giving to your customer through a great wholesaler. So thank you again and sell, sell, sell. And we'll see you next week. Okay, hopefully it won't be raining next week. All right, we'll be right back. Happy uh, holidays. With Back to Basics Day 6 right after this word from Carnival. Check it out. out. That was the convention. Oh, I, I can't wait. I, I, I'm, I'm really excited. And um, I, we're, we're thinking about maybe doing something special with, uh, you know, of course, we're going to be doing live shots uh, for those of you who don't go. But we, we really want you to go. Um, so really think about it um, and, and, and stuff. But we're really excited about going to the convention. It's going to be a lot of fun. we got a special guest that uh, is going to be there. Um, we're going to have the trade show uh, on the very first day, and it's going to be bigger, larger. It's going to be the entire day, so we're really looking forward to that. So uh, I want to welcome you back to our sixth, back to basics, day six, closing. We're going to touch on a little bit of marketing today, but closing the, um, last week I showed you how to do fair quotes, right, and how you presented them. Now we're going to pick it up where they go, okay, I want to purchase that cruise. I want to purchase that all-inclusive, and how you do what you do next, okay, on that. Um, and we're going to get, we're going to go through those steps. Uh, these trainings happen every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, and they're for new evolution agents, returning agents, sponsors, recruiters, consultants. Uh, watch these. These are the latest information that we're doing. Uh, so you guys are, are up to speed on the, the, you know, the systems and the principles of working the Archer Travel Evolution Travel Agent Program. Uh, last week we covered back to basic state five, which is fair quotes, what you need to know. In that training, we showed you how to present the fair quotes, the, the cruise quotes to your clients, and how to book. We're going to start right where we ended, and some important information was discussed last week. So if you missed it, highly recommend that you stay on this Facebook page or go into your Evolution Travel uh, Cafe out of your uh, Evolution Back Office, and they're listed in there too. So have a pen and pencil ready to take down some notes. Uh, today we're going to cover Back to Basics Day 6, closing and a little bit of marketing, but, but 
So let's go to the PowerPoint. And before we do this, I want to touch, these are the travel tips from yesterday that I want you guys to, to make sure you're aware of, because uh, every day it's getting more confusing and complicated, a little bit more harder to do. So if you've got clients that are, you know, leaving in the next 30, 60 days, you know, I highly recommend that, you know, contacting the cruise lines, airline suppliers and vendors, I would try early morning hours. It seems like they're not that busy if you're trying like, you know, four or five o'clock in the morning, five, six o'clock in the morning to get in contact with them. Be aware if you're if you're like late at night on the West Coast and you call Expedia, you're not going to talk to Expedia in North America. They're shut down. You're going to talk to Expedia in India and in other places of the world. In the Philippines, they have also have a call center. So, you know, try to get in with the North America ones. And, and that the best way to do that is try the early morning hours. Let's go to the next slide. Bah, bah, bah. Aren't your travel tip of the day? Keep calm and call your travel agent. You know, there's going to be a lot of confusion out here. There's, it's okay. Listen, it, we're getting cancellations. We, we are expecting cancellations. You know, the cruise lines have closed down. So far, what we've known is uh, Princess has shut down for 60 days. Carnival is, right? Violet, did we hear about Carnival shutting down? Yeah. Not yet. We know Princess is shutting down, and there was another one. Viking. Viking, Viking cruises I shut down, too. So this might be happening. Um, the companies are aware of it. You know, just our priority is for your clients to be safe. Let's not worry about the refund. Let's make sure that they're safe, they canceled. Don't worry, you're gonna get either a credit or you're gonna get your money back. Contact your client list. If you got people going out, I would definitely call them going, hey, you know, I got the latest news I found out about with Princess or whatever. Call your client list ASAP. All right, let's go to the next slide. Those are just some travel tips today. Back to basics, day six. Closing the deal in the commission tracking form. Oh, yay. That's going to be good, right? Because what's the commission tracking form? That is your money. Oh, and I'm, I'm blocking the form. Oh, I can't. I, I got to fix that next time, Amanda. All right, I'm, I'm blocking the form. Because it just says commission tracking. Track in. All right, let's go to the next slide. All right, let's just review a little bit what we covered last week, presenting the cruise quote. Okay, so you've met with the client, you've emailed the client the quote. Follow up not by email, follow up by phone. I have you guys calling me up going, well, I emailed them, they never got back to me. I emailed them last week. The quote's not good if it's from last week. You must remember these quotes are only good 24 to 48 hours, and then maybe they may also change. They may change. You know, um, terms and conditions apply subject to change and availability. So, what you, and, and you guys have seen these quotes. They're not really, you know, they're not easy to read. The client's not, and, and, and the majority of the time when you send something to a client, you know, when I have a friend of mine sending me an email, I can't find it. It's in my junk, my spam, whatever. So they may not even get to it. So follow up by phone, okay? Then book. Now, when booking, you gotta get the credit card information for the credit card authorization and also how you're gonna pay for the cruise or the land or whatever. Let's go to the next one. Presenting the land air quote. Again, meet with the client. You quote, email the client. Quote, follow up not by email. You, you follow up by phone. Go through the terms and conditions. Quote is good for 24 to 48 hours. Maybe, then book. When booking, get credit card information for the credit card authorization. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, Archer you travel? We're gonna even go here. Archer you travel credit card authorization. Attention for all travel bookings for your safety as a travel agent professional and for your client's safety. All travel bookings must have a credit card authorization form. As assist the client with the credit card authorization form. Evolution agents keep credit card authorization form. Do not send the form to r travel You guys are in charge of this. Now I wanna make a special note here. You guys have called me up going, well, I don't need to get a credit card authorization form for uh, you know anything lower than $500. I go, mm, you know, I would, I would just in case. You know, and also for new agents, if you're a new agent and, and you, let's say, even if you've been a new agent for four months, okay, you should be working with people that you know. If you live in Buffalo, New York, and you're getting an email from, you know, Riverside, California, wanting travel next, you know, the next day they want, you know, the, um, the Bellagio main suite and they want class A air and all that, and you don't know those people, that's probably fraud. So don't be going, oh great, I got this great booking, I'm gonna make all this commission. No, it's fraud, all right? So I would definitely, you know, for everything, get that credit card authorization form. Let's go to, oh, do we go now to forms? Yes. 
Uh, let me show you where that is. Let's go to, uh, okay, here we are in the Travel Cafe, right? And let's just show off the award again. Here's a, here's a great photo of the award that, that you guys got. Um, we, we put it in the Travel uh, Cafe. I told uh, Jessica Pars to take a photo of it so you guys have an idea there, but that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back and let's see where the forms are. Okay, if you go to forms, click right there. Let's wait for it to load up. Do, do, do. Okay, as you see at the top, the top it says download the credit card authorization form. And it's right there. You click that, and uh, can we go to that really quick? Uh, or is that gonna miss you? Yeah. No, we can't. Uh, okay. Green. All right, that's just good. Okay, but it's in there, okay? And, and you can print it out. Um, it's pretty generic. Uh, we, we don't have anything there that says Archer Travel Revolution. You know, you can put, you know, your own company name or that kind of thing, but you, you are responsible for this. So make sure you know where these things are, okay? Like I said, it's in Travel Cafe, it's in Forms. It's the very top item of the Forms page. All right, let's go to the next slide. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. Man, it's still raining. Are you bored yet, Violet? No. Violet, you, you guys remember Violet from yesterday? <laughs> she's here, she's watching, going, oh my goodness. All right. All right, this is the money. The booking commission tracking form. What is the booking commission tracking form? This is how you get paid your commission. This is important. I don't know why agents forget about this. I, I, <laughs> I, I literally, I have agents that call me going, yeah, yeah, I booked that a year ago. I don't know why I didn't fill out a booking and commission tracking form. I'm like, what? What? So, um, please do this. I try to tra train you folks that this is the last part of the process. You know, how you go through qualifying, you meet, you, you research, you present, then you book. This is it. They, you know, they've paid for the cruise. They've paid for the all-inclusive. Then they go here. You must fill out the booking uh, commission tracking form for everything travel related. Let's go to the next slide. Um, okay, where is the booking commission tracking form? I'm going to show you where that is. You go to, you go to your evotravelagent.com website, click in on login, it'll be the upper right-hand corner, and uh, once you go there, yeah, let's, let's show them. All right, so there's your evotravelagent.com website. You go up there to the dashboard, right? You click in there, and you log in, right, with your uh, Evo uh, ID number or your email address and your password, and it's right over here on the left. Let's scroll and you scroll down a little bit more. There's there's the commission tracker and there's the commission track form. Let's click on that. Ba Boom. Okay. Now, if this is look, wait, 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 wait. Scroll up, scroll up. Okay. If if this is too you know confusing for you, okay, and you're like, wait a minute, I don't know what this is. There's a video tutorial there that you can watch and it goes through every step okay. of it. Showing awesome. you how to work so it, how to do um, it, how, so what, little... what button to press. So the information's here for you. So if you get there going, oh my God, this looks too complicated for me. There's a little video tutorial to show you how to do it. Now let's go back to the, uh, to that, okay? Now, see on the top, please use Google Chrome when submitting the form. We, you know, you should be on this. Don't be doing it on a phone or a tablet or your, on your iPhone, okay? It's pretty easy to do. I just want to show you where this information is. Let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, primary traveler, you fill it out. First you, first you click the button, what it was, a cruise, a package, a car only, whatever. So. Then you fill it out. Scroll up, please, a little bit more. No, let's go the other way. Okay, um, where's the tag for? Okay, scroll up more. Okay, now, if you notice, it says commission tracking form, okay? Now, if you have a group booking, <laughs> you're like, well, I just booked my cruise with, you know, where, where's, where's the, you click here. And that'll take you to the group booking form. And then you just fill that out from there. And, that can t and that's in, where? In forms. There it is right there, the group booking form. All right? Make sure you do that for your groups, whether it's lands or a cruise or a destination weddings or whatever. Okay, let's go back to the slides. The pile up on, the pile up on. Okay. All right, we've gone through that and shown you click and fill out and submit. Remember to hit submit when you hit the, the commission tracking form, okay? Or else, okay, now, here's another thing. When we get the commission tracking form, you should be receiving an automatic email from us, from the uh, Evil Commission's department, ex telling you we received your commission tracking form. Way to go. Okay, next one. What happens when the client pays for the booking reservation? Okay, 
Usually what happens if it's a cruise, the majority of the time it's a cruise, but this happens with land tour operators too. The evolution agent will receive two emails or sometimes the tour operator or cruise line will, will email the client, uh, but it'll be two. It'll be an agent copy and a client copy. The client copy goes to the client, okay? Not the agent copy. The agent copy goes to the agent. It does not go to the client. Make sure you don't mess that up, all right? Uh, email client copy. Use information from agent copy to fill out your commission tracking form. That's what you use to fill out your commission tracking form is the information that you got the email verification from the cruise line, the supplier, the vendor, whatever. Okay, next one. When do you fill out the booking and commission tracking form? Okay, I think, again, it's, it's, it's complete after the process. Do not wait. I know agents that, oh, yeah, I'm going to wait. I go, why? Well, they're, you know, they're not going till August, and, you know, I got, I'm going to wait a couple of weeks. No, get it done, because you know what? You guys forget. You're like, where's my, where's my, I, I booked something in August, and, and, and never, okay, wait a minute. After Evolution, agent receives the final email verification from the booking is completed from the cruise line, the, the blah, blah, whatever. Uh, when do you fill out the group booking and commission tracking form? Okay. <laughs> Look who's, he does this on purpose. He does, he does this to come in. Look, and he's all wet. He's been, he's been, he's been, look, look who's come in here. He's all wet. He's been, you know where he's been? He's been in the trailer. Because we're getting the trailer ready. As you guys know, we had the big announcement on Monday with, with Ron and the trailer. We're getting that thing ready to go on the road. And we are very excited. It's going to be a little mini media center and it's going to be it's going to rock it is going to rock so we are excited about that thing all right um where was i when do you fill out group booking commission travel? okay all groups must have committed travelers okay what peggy has recommended is either after you birth your cabins or that they made their final payment that's when you should be doing it after the evolution agent receives final email verification the booking is completed so we've done all those is that it I think, right? There's no more. Oh, Ron's video. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I, we've been talking about marketing all week, and, and there's this, oh, this this video is old. All right, let's do a, let's do a question. Um, for just an airline, which one do you use? Okay, there's not one in there for an airline. There isn't because we receive no commission from airlines. Um, I've spoken to Krista and, and John Codero about that, that we were going to do some sort of tab for that because I think, you know, I, we want you to, to do that as much as possible and you should do it also for air even though you don't receive commission on air but it's just so you get into the habit of it um and i don't have one for air right now and and that's something i'll have to just send me an email and i'll talk to uh john and 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 uh chris about it because I, I don't think they wanted to put that in there due to the fact that there's no commission yes so i booked hotels and car rental from expedia tap i filled the commission tracking form what's next Okay, hit submit, and you should get an email verification from us stating that we received your commission tracking form. If we did not, that means something went wrong in the way you typed it up. Something's not, something's missing in the commission tracking form. Okay, but you should have it. Then you just wait for the travel dates to be completed, and four or five weeks after that, you get your commission. Okay, Ron, video. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Today we're here to talk about ways to promote your own travel agency. People frequently ask me if travel agencies are dying off. They are not. Do you know that online travel agencies, Orbitz, Expedia, Travelocity, and more, make up approximately 43% of all the travel bookings and they account for $585 billion a year in travel? Independent brick and mortar travel agencies and other offline travel companies do 58% of the travel and they account for over $600 billion a year in travel and transportation sales. People tell me that they can book their own travel on the internet. Sure, no problem. People do their own cooking too, but there's 630,511 restaurants in the United States. There's over 40,000 insurance agencies in the United States and you can book insurance online too. As a matter of fact, insurance and travel are very similar in that they've been greatly impacted by the internet. People like to do their own travel, but they look to a professional to be able to give them a quality vacation that tells them where to go, what to do, what to eat, what to see, where to sleep, where to cruise, etc. 
So I'm here today to give you tips on how to promote and market your Archer Travel Agent program and generate your own clients in your own home-based business. The first and most obvious way that people promote their own travel business is by notifying friends, family, and your social network. People do this by sending emails, by posting on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, etc. Of course, some people pick up the phone and do it the old-fashioned way and call their friends and family and say, hey, next time you're going on vacation, give me a call. I can help you put together a wonderful vacation, the vacation of your dreams, and it's absolutely free of charge. You can let your family know that they can go to your website and see outstanding cruise and tour values, vacation specials, they can book air, hotel, and rental car packages right there from your website. The second way that you can advertise your travel business is through social media. Putting up specials on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, and, and other social media websites will gain you more followers, which are more business opportunities. That means all of those people who like your page are new client possibilities. Make sure that your Facebook page is always updated and fresh with unique ideas and fun vacations. Number three, attend public functions. Every community has a Chamber of Commerce mixer. Go to mixers, pass out your business cards. Always carry business cards in your wallet. When you go to football games, when you go to Little League games, when you go to soccer practices, people are going to ask you what you're doing. You're going to talk about travel. People are going to ask you, hey, what's it going to cost to go to Hawaii? How much is a cruise? You say, I don't know. Let me get back to my office. Let me get some information from you, and I'll give you a price. In order to do that, you need to give them a business card. So make sure you're always carrying business cards. Make sure your website, again, is prominent on those cards and make sure that those people can get to you with their vacation requests. Number four, join a business networking group. There are groups all over the United States where people get together for breakfast or lunch, sometimes cocktails, and they will have meetings on how to promote each other's business. You talk about your business, they talk about theirs, and members of the group all agree that what they're going to do is promote each other's business. These networking groups typically only have one person from each industry or type of job or type of company. That means there's only one travel agent, one lawyer, one dentist, etc. So if you join a networking group, it's a great way for you to get other people to also be talking about your business as well. Number five is one of my favorite ways to promote the travel business, and that's by working with churches. Churches actually do a lot of travel. They do Bible study cruises, they do Holy Land tours, they support missionaries that travel throughout the world, and of course, their parishioners or their members love to go on vacation. Number six on the list is school travel. A lot of elementary schools send their children to state capitals. We have sixth graders in our area that go to Washington, D.C. every year. Also, we work with a lot of sports teams in schools that go to basketball tournaments, we do football games, we even charter buses for some of the football teams to go to some of their home games and some of their away games. We also work with a lot of universities where we do international student uh, study programs and where we have to help them with getting tickets to study abroad. A local high school in our area has 175 students going to a choir competition in Chicago next year. That booking alone is worth $175,000 at about a 15% commission. So school travel can also be very lucrative. When you handle group programs for schools and sports teams, you also get exposure to parents and school employees when they want to go on their personal vacations. So schools can be very beneficial to promoting your travel business. Youth sports programs are also a great way to promote your travel business. My nephew has over 500 kids in a youth soccer program here in this area, and he does six to eight tournaments a year throughout the United States where we send 20 to 30 kids. Our company also sponsors a Little League team. And you gotta remember, Little League teams' scores are published on a weekly basis in the local newspapers. Oftentimes you look in the newspaper, it says, Archer Travel 6, Fire Department 4. So every week, our company is mentioned in the local newspaper showing our support for the local community. And we actually get a lot of interest and a lot of inquiries based on that sponsorship. I've also sent teams to the World Series, the, the Little League World Series, as well as to other types of competitions throughout the world. Number eight up on the list are sports bars and restaurants. Sports bars are a great way to promote your travel business. 
There are over 45 sports bars in the Los Angeles area that support the Pittsburgh Steelers. We have put together programs for these fans to go to a Pittsburgh Steelers home game every season. So therefore, we've got 20 to 30 people that are going back on a trip across the United States for air, hotel, and rental cars, as well as team tickets to get into the game. We also promote Super Bowl cruises through sports bars and restaurants. Every year we get between 250 and 300 people from those bars and restaurants that go on the Mexico weekend cruise on Carnival Cruise Lines and have a great time. Number nine on the list is have a travel party. People love to party. You can serve Mai Tais and Poo Poo's and you can also go to a local store and get plastic lace. You guys can all wear Moo Moo's and really get into the travel spirit. This is a great way to let people know that you're now in the travel business and you'd like to help them with their next vacation. Last but certainly not least on the list is businesses. Call on every company in your area and ask them if you can help them with their airline tickets, their hotels, and their rental cars when they're sending salespeople out on sales calls or mechanics out to fix machinery. Or if they're sending a crew out for an installation of a new restaurant. Or if they have a real estate team that's going out looking for new locations. Businesses can also be a great source of meeting and incentive travel because they want to reward their salespeople by giving away trips and travel. We also help businesses go to meetings and conventions all over the world and they buy a lot of travel because they send a lot of people. You can also promote to those business employees your vacation travel services. Anybody that's using you for your business travel is also a perfect target for their employees when they're thinking about going on their vacations. So here's a list of 10 ways in which you can market your own travel agency. And this is just a drop in the bucket of all the ways you can actually promote your business. As a member of the Archer Travel Agent Program, you can work directly with myself and my staff and we can help you to put together flyers and marketing plans in which you can market your own travel agency to these businesses and more. We hope you'll join the program and we look forward to working with you. Okay, um, that was um, Ron's video on 10 ways to promote your travel business. We have a couple of questions. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Marcy is asking, can they make it to where we can download the tracking form to Excel or another platform like that? Okay, for that question, uh, you're going to send that to um, which email address? To uh, the media? Uh, yeah, have them send it to social media at archertravel.com. Social media at archertravel.com. Put that question in there and we'll take it up to IT and the media department and, uh, and commissions. We'll also address this with commissions department because we need to go and ask them about it and then we will answer you, okay? Perfect. All right. Um, and then our other question was from Jonathan and he was wondering, I have to travel for work, so I have to decide to use my own company to book all my hotels and car rental. I have completed all travel for February, so what's next after the payment? Okay. Jonathan, um, why don't you call me, um, or let's set up a time where we can talk, because I want, I want to ask you a couple of more questions about this, because we might be getting into corporate uh, travel as compared to leisure travel. So give me a call. Again, you can reach me at 818-236-4260. Again, the number is 818-236-4260. I'm here Monday to Friday from 9 to 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. All right? That's it for now. That's it. Thank you, guys. Listen, have a safe, safe, safe St. Patrick's Day, all right? All right, especially you people out there in Merseyside County. I won't mention any names, Miss Fontaine. But anyway, have a good and safe uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day. Sell plenty of travel, enroll plenty of agents, and I'll see you here next week. Adios. The following Archer Evolution Travel Session is brought to you by Carnival Cruise Lines. Fun for all, all for fun. Carnival Cruise Lines.